Larry Ann with Pink Dahlia Soaps here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Finally, right? Finally, 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 I am going to do the fourth and final soap inspired by Disney movies. This one is inspired by James and the Giant Peach. Of course, I loved the book well before the movie came out, but I was super excited when the movie did come out. So here we are. You've just watched me disperse the colorants with the little bit of oils that I'm using for the main soap. I added clay to the oils and then the lye water solution. The fragrance oil that I'm using is, you guessed it, peach. More specifically, it's called fresh peaches. The scene that I'm trying to depict with this soap is when the peach is in the water right before they start to catch the seagulls so that the seagulls can lift the peach up and fly them away before the metal shark eats them. And here are the embeds that I made for the inside of the soap. And this is the peach. And these are simple seagulls. Here I'm showing you how I made the actual peach. I used a tube mold, mixed these colorants together, poured them in, waited a few days to unmold. And when I went to carve out the peach, of course my camera didn't record, which I'm very upset. I'm sorry about that. It's really simple. I just carved out the bottom of the peach to make it look like waves while it's in the ocean. For the stem, I just rolled out some brown soap dough and molded it over this wooden dowel. I then inserted toothpicks into the very end of it, and that's how I attached it to the peach. And here I'm just showing you that you can see the toothpick that I used to attach the stem to the peach. Adding a little bit of white soap to hopefully look like clouds in the sky. To make the seagulls, I rolled out white soap dough and then folded it in half lengthwise. Shall we see what's on my embed tray today? Well, look at that. It's 1,000 long, slimy crocodile tongues and some ladybugs. I made the molds for the tongues and the ladybugs using this kit, some noodles, and I found the tiniest ladybug made of glass ever, and so I made a mold out of that. And if I'm going to have some slimy, magical crocodile tongues, they better be glowing. And now for the tiny ladybug, right before she consumes that crocodile tongue. My name is... Mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. In daylight and in the dark. It's not our peach. It's our peach. Two days later, let's cut this soap. My, my, my. I love how the soap came out. Look at the seagulls. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. 
I am expecting some holes between the water and the peach. Yep, there they are. I'll just take the soap ends that I cut off and I will fill in any holes. And since I did use toothpicks to hold the stem to the peach, I made sure that the toothpicks were indeed cut out. I always say this, but most of the time it's true. I had a lot of fun making this soap. I've already started working on the next soaps and I can say that for the most part they are based off of candy or some some type of consumable though the soap itself is not consumable obviously <laughs> I do have one in there that that's completely random I think I'm going to do that video next no comment on that one yet okay we'll just have to wait and see if it's a complete failure or not but until then, as always and forever, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot to me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, or leave a comment below. Take care. Bye-bye.